me. Three, two, one, go! In what could be our final match of the day, it is our finals match round two between the third ranked Red Alliance and the number one ranked Blue Alliance. Both of these teams have some very strong autonomous routines, scoring a multitude of points in the first 15 seconds of the match. Immediately, we've got a collision between 15.40 and 25.21. That's the Flaming Chickens versus Cert. On one side of the field, we've got the Stormbot scoring a cone in that upper node for the Red Alliance. On the other side, we have 25.21 and 29.90 scoring an upper cone for themselves. Launching themselves off their own charge pad is Chaos Theory. Unfortunately, 1540 has fallen over in the Red Alliance zone. That may give the Blue Alliance the opportunity to catch up. You have an opportunity to bring this to a match number three. Hotwire 2990 flying across the field, taking advantage of the three to two advantage they have when it comes to robots expertly waiting for their own team to give them the space to score. 1359 Scalawags joining that scoring onslaught. Blue Alliance is starting to pull ahead. Red Alliance having only one robot, or having a robot down, is gonna have to take a lot of time to score a lot more points than they have. Team 2521, that was our number one ranked robot. On the way to their zone, they drop a cube into the lower hybrid area for their grid. They are starting to pull ahead pretty significantly now. They are locked in a deadlock, 54-68 Chaos Theory with 1359 Scalawags. Scalawags playing some pretty brutal defense, stopping Chaos Theory from being able to score. With 20 seconds left on the clock, it looks like Blue Alliance is lining up for three robots to get onto their charge pad. Red Alliance has to stick with only two for now. Looks like we're gonna have a finals match number three as Blue Alliance takes the win.